Welcome concrete cool kids. My name is Tyler Lay, and in this video today, we're gonna do an analysis example problem of a T-beam. In this problem, we've got a T-beam and we wanna find the capacity of it. We've given the height of the flange, the total, total depth, the D, the distance to the centroid of the steel from, from the compression fiber, our width, our spacing, we got all kinds of cool stuff. We're given our span length, that's the distance between the supports, the distance into the page. We've got our concrete strength, our steel strength. We know we're simply supported. We know we're using six number 10 bars. These are number 10 bars, baby. That's a total amount of steel of 7.62. And now let's find our official, our, our effective width. This is the width that we can count on. Not the total width that's there, it's the width that we can count on. And we talked about that in the theory portion of the videos. So I'm gonna take my span length, 28 feet, multiplied by 12, divided by eight, and I get 42 inches, that's one of them. And I do this check two different times. One of them is the BU minus BW over two has to be less than H, eight times HF, and that gives me 58 inches that controls. This is half my clear spacing, which is 60 inches. I'm gonna compare these three together, and I'm gonna pick the one that's the smallest, 42 inches. That is the effective width that I can count on at the top of my beam. Now, we've got to calculate that A. This is that mythical, mystical A. That determines if we're in case one or case two. So I calculate my A, plug in everything I know. That was my B that controlled, okay? Or I called the controlling B. And I figured out my A, 3.2, is greater than H sub F. I'm saying that my top of my T-beam is three inches in depth, and my compression block is deeper than that. Uh-oh, that means I'm in case two. And again, this is just a way to figure out if I'm in case one or case two. I don't need this again. I don't use this. I use a different A now for case two. If it was case one, I'm good. Here we go. Let's plug in. And that is equal to 5.4 four inches squared. That's my AS1. That's the amount of steel that balances it. So boom, now I can, I can plug into this equation and I can find how much moment that was contributed by just the stuff outside of the web plus some of the steel. Okay. Am I done? No, no, no. I got more steel and I got the stuff in the middle. I got the stuff in the middle. And I got more steel. To do that, I've got to calculate what my A is. So that's 7.62, that's my total amount of my steel. That whole thing is equal to 3.85 inches. That is my real depth, not my mystical depth. That is my real, real depth of that section right there, 3.85. Now I solve for my moment, okay? So I take 7.62 and all of that is equal to 1841, 1841. So I get to take that moment, that's the moment from this part of the structure, plus this moment, that's from this part of the structure, and I add them together, and I get my total moment. That's it, that's my total moment capacity. Now I need to check a couple things. I gotta find what, what my fee factor is. So I have to take my A, which is 3.85, yep, already calculated that, divide by my beta one, which is 0.85, and I get 4.53. I plug into my favorite equation where I solve for my strain of my steel, D minus C over C times 0.003. I get 0076, which is greater than 0.05, so yes! Phi is 0.9, ha ha, awesome. Now I calculate my area of steel. It would be really, really rare for your area of steel to control for a T-beam. And notice when you calculate your area of steel, you use the B of the web, not the entire B, the B of just the web. And it doesn't control, it's nowhere near. And we don't have enough information to check our spacing, so we're just gonna assume it's okay. And that's it for T-beam analysis. That was a case two T-beam analysis. Thanks to you so much for watching. I really appreciate all my watchers. And subscribe, um, like, maybe hit the bell. Have you ever tried the bell? Try a bell and send me a comment. Go Concrete, love you guys, bye.